Congrats on being named to start on your home debut. Um, how much are you looking forward to Saturday? Yeah, absolutely can't wait. Um, playing at Murrayfield's obviously been a big goal of mine ever since I started playing rugby, so it's going to be pretty cool. Can't wait. And obviously you were on summer tour with us and your family followed us for the, the full trip, but they had to go home um, just before that last test, before you made your debut. Explain how all that came about. Yeah, so I got announced in the team on the Monday morning. Uh, luckily I managed to catch my parents just before they flew back. Um, Dad tried his best to come back out, but uh, it just wasn't to be. So it's going to be pretty cool, obviously, having them there in the stands this Saturday. Um, so they'll finally get to see me run out for Scotland, which will be cool. Have you managed to, to tell your family that you're going to be in the starting line? <coughs> what have they said? Yeah, I texted them this morning. They're absolutely chuffed. Um, my sister's buzzing. She's coming up from London as well. So um, I think there's quite a bit of family coming to the game anyway. So yeah, it'll be pretty cool. Tell us about your memories of going to Murrayfield as a youngster. Uh, I used to go pretty much every year. Dad's got season tickets. so. Uh, Used to always be there Six Nations times, Autumn Internationals, um, and like I say, it's been something I've wanted to do since I was a kid. Um, so. And when we beat Australia in 2017, you were actually hanging over the side of the tunnel, high fiving the boys, is that right? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Um, my dad's season tickets are just next to the tunnel, so I used to look over the sort of look over the tunnel and try and get high fives from uh, some of the players, so yeah, it's come full circle. Yeah, and it'll be you this time running out with a thistle on your chest um, with all the kids hang hanging over. How much are you looking forward to that moment? Yeah, it's going to be pretty surreal, um, something I've never experienced before. I'm really looking forward to it and I actually can't wait. And someone who's, who's joining you for the special occasion is Jack Dempsey, your teammate at Glasgow Warriors. He's named on the bench um, for Saturday. What have you made of, of him? He's been uh, instrumental since he's come over from Australia. A lot of experience uh, from playing at the Taz. He's obviously such a physical back row, really powerful. Um, and he's been performing at the highest level, one of our best players at Glasgow for, certain, uh, for sure. Um, so he'll be a, a great addition um, to the Scotland squad. Looking back on that summer tour experience, how did you find it? Uh, unbelievable. Um, great group of boys, it was a real close-knit group, uh, that's what we've spoken about since we've been back in camp now, is uh, the connections we made whilst we were away um, and you know, you're know you creating memories as well with uh, your mates on the other side of the world which you wouldn't really get to do in any kind of job, so, other job. So. How special was your, your debut? Yeah, it was, it was awesome, yeah. It's, I tried to just take it in as much as I could, you know, it's uh, quite easy to get overwhelmed with the situation but um, an awesome experience playing in front of the sort of 30,000 fans in Argentina and they were going absolutely wild. Obviously the result didn't go our way but it's something I'll never forget. And how much has that experience helped you going into Saturday? Uh, loads. I feel um, maybe a bit more prepared. I um, feel much more relaxed, you know, um, trying to sort of put the occasion behind me and just sort of focusing on the game, focusing on my own performance and what I can do to help the squad.